So just like that, now I can get the absolute URL path. So to get the absolute URL path, as I said, I'm just going to display that uh, absolute URL path in the log for now. But later in the video, we'll learn how to upload that to the Firebase. Okay. So maybe in the next video, I'm not sure because it is already getting too long and we also need to implement the gallery button as well. So here I'm just going to create one log file. Absolute URL of image is and I'm gonna get the URL file. So from file F, I'm just displaying the URL and let me create one tag here. Okay. So now if I run this app and take new image, it should display the URL of that image in the log at. Okay. So our app is open. Let me open the camera. Let me take the picture from the new angle here and take the picture, save it. Now it picture is displayed in the image view. But if I go to the log cat here, you should be able to see this absolute URL of the image is then it will give the absolute URL wherever the image is saved. And you can also see that the uh, image is saved inside the file pictures of our Android app and the file name is JPEG and so on. So on that whatever created by the timestamp. But if if I go to the gallery of my phone, I won't be able to see this image. So I need to push this to the gallery. So I'm going to do that now. Now to display the image, I can use this uh, same code that provided by the Android documentation. So we need to create new media scan intent, which is going to scan for the new image file. And we are just going to send that data to the image uh, gallery and we will send the broadcast that inform the media scan intent that the new file is created and that will be displayed in the gallery. Okay. So I'll just copy this block of code from here. And uh, I'm going to paste that here. So whenever after the image is taken, we are going to display that. So this is not required here right now because we have already created that. So let me save it. Now I'll run this app and I'll take the new picture and that should be displayed in the gallery of my phone. Let's see what happens. Open the camera. Okay, let's take the image from the new angle. Okay, this is the image. Now if I go back to my gallery, it will not display anything because we need to modify a few things in our code. If I go here in the create image file, you can see I have given this storage directory, which will specify the in which directory that our image is going to be saved. If we use this extern external file directory method, it is going to make that image that we have taken private to our application. So it will not be allowed to display in the gallery. So we need to change that. So actually we can set that to the public directory. So I'm going to change that to public directory now. So let me comment that I'll create new file. I'm going to give the same uh, variable name that is storage directory. And using the environment variable, I can call the get storage public directory here. And inside this, I need to pass the, so I want to save the image in the pictures album or pictures directory. So gallery will create one new album called pictures. And inside that our picture will be saved. I'm going to use the environment vari variable again, and I'm going to call directory pictures properties. Now we are good to go. I will just run this app now and we are going to see how it's going to work or so uh, let me open the camera in my app. Okay. I'm going to take the pictures and I'm going to save it. So it is displaying in the image view that we have here and I'm going to close this app and I'm going to open my gallery here. And now you can see we have this new album called pictures and inside this we have these new pictures that we have created and if I show you the details of this image just to make sure that it is displaying the correct image it have the name as JPEG 2020 and everything so that should match with our file name in the log cat so let me search the tag 
okay so this is our file name and this file name should match with the picture that I, I have shown you in the gallery so you can see jpeg 2020 and 102 so guys this is how we uh, send the broadcast message to the gallery to display the images that we have taken in our particular application so make sure that you are using this get external storage public directory instead of the get external file directory but if you don't want your images to be appeared in the gallery then you can use this same uh, get external file directory method now i will implement the gallery button that we have in our application and whenever the gallery button is clicked we are going to let the user pick the image from the gallery okay okay so whenever gallery button is clicked i want to let the user go to the gallery and there they can select the images to do that i will create new intent here and I, i'm give the name as gallery so i'm gonna specify the intent that what we want this intent to do so intent dot our intent is action peak and we are going to pick that from the media store so media store dot images dot media dot external content uri okay and uh, now I'll start the activity for result and I'm gonna pass the intent that is gallery intent and we also need to specify the request code so that we can distinguish the camera request code and the gallery request code so which one which operate which button is clicked by the user so I'm gonna specify the gallery request code as 105 and same as before I will create the constant for this control alt C okay now we can use this gallery request code to distinguish the gallery peak request so let's go to the on activity result method here and here just after this if a block I'm gonna create another if block and inside this actually we need the same code here we just need to modify the few extra things here so instead of camera request I will ask for the check for the gallery request code and another thing other things are same but here we are not uh, taking the image from the photo path but we are taking from the gallery so let me paste the block of code that we need here so let me explain this what we are doing uh, first we are creating the content uri from the data so that data is passed by the intent data here okay and after that we are creating the file name so to create the file name I'm just using the same timestamp method that I have uh, used here while creating the image file so I'm just copying the same thing from here and pasting here so I'm creating the timestamp and image file and here I'm creating the uh, file name by using the jpeg extension jpeg uh, prefix and the timestamp now uh, here I need to specify the uh, type of the image that we are uh, picking from the gallery so we may pick any kind of image from the gallery so that could be jpeg that could be png or any other type so i need to explicitly specify the what uh, type of file extension is given for that particular image that user have picked so that's why i'm going to create one uh, method that will particularly extract the type of the image that a user have selected and I'm gonna display this tag here okay I'm gonna display the absolute image URI after we created the image and I'm gonna display that image to the image view okay so let me create this method okay so inside this I can use content resolver to get the uh, extension of the image that user have picked so by using the get singleton method of mime type map we can we can list out all the supported type of images and using this map we can get the extension of the mime type from the url that we have selected from the gallery so this content url is the absolute uri so from that uri we are getting the image extension so this is how we do it so let's run this app okay the app is running so let me click on gallery 
and it should give me the option to select the one of the gallery in application that i have in my phone so one is google photos and another one is gallery so let me select the gallery i'm going to go to these pictures okay you can select any pictures and i'm going to select the image and it is displaying the image here it is displaying the selected image here and if i go to the lock ad okay you can see the image name so this is the image name that i have printed here and we can also print the absolute url if we want by using by printing this content uri okay so guys this is how we uh, take the image in our application and display in the image view and we also select the image from the image gallery and display in this image view in the next video we are directly going to connect the firebase to this application and we will upload the images to the firebase and return the download url of that image and we will display that image to the image view of our application so let me know if you want these videos in kotlin as well so i'm gonna make the same application in kotlin programming language if you want so let me know in the comment box and until the next video bye bye see you there